Routers with 5 GHz capability have been around for a while, but many people still don't know the difference between the two, nor spend the time to try to understand and connect their devices to the right uh, band and channel, so that way they can get the most speed out of the router. In this video, I'm gonna briefly talk about the difference between 2.4 and 5G, and tell you about some of the pros and cons, and talk about a simple solution that this router will offer that you don't have to worry about selecting and choosing between 2.4 and 5G based on your situation and your unique devices. This video is sponsored by Rockspace. They have offered this unit for free for me to test and there is a unit that they are offering as a giveaway to one of my viewers. If you wanna win one of these, it's very simple. You need to watch the entire video in its entirety and there is a secret code embedded into the video. It's not gonna be hard to figure it out, but once you find it, I need you to send me a DM in my Instagram and just comment down below, let me know that you have DM'd the secret code to me. But before we get too far into this video, my name is Sean, this is my tech channel, so if you like videos like this, you might wanna hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification so you won't miss my future videos. Also, if you wanna support this video and my channel, make sure to give this video a like uh, right down below. So 2.4 versus five gigahertz. There is a lot we can talk about both of them, but I'm just trying to simplify this as much as I can so I can tell you a little bit about what is the problem and how this router is going to fix that main problem. 2.4 offers a little bit slower speed versus five gigahertz. On the other hand, five gigahertz, while it's faster, it's not, it's a weaker signal, which means it cannot penetrate walls as well, and it has a shorter range. So depending on your situation, Sometimes 5G, even though it offers better speed based on the placement of your devices and your router, you may not be able to use the 5G band and you have to use 2.4. 2.4 gigahertz, on the other hand, is a very crowded space and there are a limited number of channels that all these devices can use. So for example, everything from your smart devices, smart bulbs, smart garage door openers, even car, car alarms and microwaves, they use 2.4. And that is a big downside of being on a 2.4 gigahertz band. 5G on the other hand, it has a lot more channels for your router and your devices to choose from, and it's not as crowded. The other thing that is important to know is, when I'm talking about how crowded uh, a band is, it's not about the stuff in your house. Let me give you an example. If you go right now on your phone and go to the setting and look at the list of available Wi-Fi, you probably will see seven, 10, 15, sometimes 20 different Wi-Fi signals or routers available for you to choose from. What that means is uh, there are that many neighbors around you that the signal from their devices can and will reach your router and your space. And every single one of those devices, when someone is turning their uh, smart lights on or off, it's broadcasting a signal and that signal can interrupt the signal from your router to your laptop when you're watching YouTube. And that's why 5G is a much better solution more often than not because it's not as crowded and you're not gonna have that many devices on 5G band and there are a lot more channels available. This is where this unique router feature will come in place. So there are a lot of things that is really nice about this and I'm gonna mention them, but this one particular feature stood out to me and that's why I accepted to review uh, this router. This is the model uh, RSD0614. This is the AC2100 uh, router that they have. And what this router is capable of doing is it can actually unify your 2.4 and five gigahertz band as one Wi-Fi and uses one SSID. When you go to the list of the Wi-Fi's, uh, you have available, uh, there's only going to be one option. Now you have the option to separate them out if you want to, but you can unify them and then the router will decide which will be the better band and channel to choose from so that way you can get the optimal uh, speed out of uh, that connection that you have, which is really, really cool. This is a dual band gigabit Wi-Fi router. It offers four LAN ports as well as a USB port in the back, but the USB I believe is a USB 2.0 so while you can set it up to have uh, remote storage access, um, but you will have limited uh, speed simply based on the USB connection you have. This also supports a four x four MUMIMO multi-user, multiple input, multiple output feature. Let me put on my blinkers 
and pull to the side and tell you real quick what that is. This is a second generation Wi-Fi 5, or they call them AC Wave 2. Now, right prior to that, Wi-Fi 5 and older versions of Wi-Fi, they were using what is called a polite protocol. That means doesn't matter how many devices are trying to access internet and how much bandwidth or data they have, only one device at a time can talk to the router. So for example, uh, your phone will access it, will send and receive a packet, and then it will go to the next item. Then your light, let's say you would send a request to change uh, uh, its color, and then it will come back and then we'll go to the next device if someone is streaming uh, Netflix on an iPad, and it will go one device at a time. Multi-user, multiple input, multiple output, it would allow uh, multiple devices, I believe maybe up to eight, that they can simultaneously connect and communicate with the router. Therefore, you would feel your Wi-Fi is a lot faster, especially if you have multiple user in your house. This also has a built-in dual core uh, CPU design that would help with much faster processing. Therefore, it would help with the speed uh, that you're getting from uh, this router. The unboxing experience is fairly simple. Inside the box, you have uh, the power adapter, you have a data cable, and then you have the device itself. The device features four 6 uh, dBi external high gain antennas. It also has a beam forming plus technology that using those antennas, they can try to direct the signal to the area and direction that is needed the most. That way you can get a boost in the speed as well. Now let's talk about a little bit of a speed test. I tested this in three different locations in my house and I want to share those results with you. So first I went ahead, tested this uh, right in my garage, standing only a few feet from my router, which is typically not the normal situation anybody will have anyway, but uh, in case of scaling, I just want you to have a feel for what type of performance you can get out of this device. Testing it in my garage, I had a download speed of 316 megabits per second, an upload speed of 246 megabits per second. When I went to the second floor, I had a download speed of 290 megabits per second, as well as an upload speed of 225 megabits per second. And then at the furthest location in my house, which is the third floor in my studio, I got a download speed of 224 megabits per second and an upload speed of 138 megabits per second. If you do the math, you will see from the basement to my third floor, I'm losing about 30% speed. So depending on what type of speed you normally get in your house based on your internet provider, you can kind of have an idea what kind of performance you can get out of uh, this router. My house is about 3,000 square feet. And while they don't advertise this to be for a house this big, uh, I'm absolutely comfortable using this as my primary device. And I'm gonna test this for a few more months um, and have this as my daily driver and uh, see how I feel about this. And if uh, my decision and opinion change about this, I will put it in the comments below and I will pin it so you guys can continue follow along about um, uh, my experience with this router. Setting this up, by the way, is really simple. All you have to do is just plug in the power cord and then you will uh, plug the data cable you have from the WAN port on the back of the router to um, the provided modem from your internet service provider. To set this up, you will just go ahead, select that Wi-Fi SSID from the list of available devices. You can use uh, your phone or you can use your laptop. I do suggest when for the first time you're trying to select uh, and set this up, use your laptop because when the, um, the setup wizard will come up, it will walk you through a little bit more options for you to choose from. And by default, it would actually unify the two uh, do bands, the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz when you uh, do it through a laptop. But if you use the app and go ahead, set this up, by default, it will separate the two, the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, and then you have to log in to the admin dashboard, which is uh, 192.168.0.1. And then you can log in. You go to Wi-Fi setting on the left side, and then you go to Wi-Fi name and password. And then you have the option to unify 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz. If you like to geek out 
there are a ton of option and customization and features and control you have over your router through the uh, admin panel. Hopefully by now you guys have been able to figure out the secret code that was embedded in the video. If you did, go to my Instagram page. I have a link in the description below. Send me a DM with what that code is and then comment it down below that you found this. If you guys have any other Wi-Fi questions or if you're interested in the topic and you want me to make more videos about this, comment down below, let me know. I always try and do my best to go ahead, answer all your questions and reply to the comments. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.